Hello everybody, hoping that you're well. Today we're going to talk about how you're supposed to grade S-Log3 in DaVinci Resolve. For those who don't know me, my name is Douglas. I am a professional colorist based in Paris, in France, and I specialize in grading commercials, music videos, and longer form. There's many Sony cameras that shoot S-Log3. We've got the a7S III, the FX6, FX30, FX9, FS7 for all models. We've got the Venice 1, the Venice 2. Many cameras shoot S-Log3, but what are you supposed to do with it in DaVinci Resolve? That's what we're gonna take a look at today. Let's dive in. All right, guys, so we are in DaVinci Resolve at the moment, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to need you to download some LUTs from Sony's website and I'm going to show you why in a minute. I need you to go to Sony's website at that address and we're going to be interested in downloading the look profile for Resolve S Gamma 3 Cine S Log 3 and you have the download link right here so go ahead and download that and then you're going to unzip that into your LUT folder and then resolve your LUT folder to access it you need to go to that menu the cog wheel at the bottom right hand corner then you go to color management and you go to open LUT folder and you're going to make sure to unzip the LUT folder from Sony into that folder basically and let's jump back into resolve also, please change your 3D lookup table interpolation to tetrahedral because you're going to have more precision when you're using the LUT and this is going to result in better rendering quality of your images. Do not forget to click update list right here so that the LUTs actually appear when you're going to want to use them. The reason why I asked you to download the Sony LUTs is because there are two main ways to transform your log footage into display state in Rec. 709, basically, in our case. So you can use a lot, or you can use Resolve Color Management or ACES, for example. There are multiple ways to go about it. I'm going to show you the two main ways today. So let's start with a lot, okay? Because you can use that method whether you are in Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, Avid, DaVinci Resolve. I mean, this technique can work in every software at your disposal. And the second method works only in DaVinci, basically. So I'm going to click into my LUT tab right here, okay? And I'm going to access my Sony Look Profile folder. And I'm going to load the very first LUT, which is called S Gamut 3 Cine S Log 3 to LC709. You see there is a 709 Type A, but we don't really care about this one when we're grading on a 709 Gamma 24 monitor. So we're going to use the first one right here. So let's double click on it. And all of a sudden, I'm going to shut down this folder right here. So all of a sudden, you see that my image is turned from log to display state. It's properly converted to 709, okay? So now I can grade underneath the LUT. So I'm going to call this node LUT, and then I'm going to create a node prior by clicking Shift S. And then using my primaries right there, I can, you, I can do the usual thing. I can grade my image. Uh, you can use Color Space Aware tools with the HDR palette if you're uh, a bit more advanced and uh, know what you're doing. But today let's go simple and basically I'm going to just use my primaries to fill my way through and just make that image feel a little bit more tasty like so there you go so that's one way to basically grade s log 3 s gamut 3 cine and please 
be really careful with the LUTs that you're using because there are many, many LUTs out there on the internet that will not be right for the footage that you're using because the people who develop those don't really know what they're doing basically. Uh, so just the safe bet is to use LUTs from the manufacturer's website. If you're using, for example, um, if you have ARRI footage, for example, then you can go to ARRI's website. If you have a RED camera, you can go to RED's website. But be really careful where you get those LUTs from. So that's one way to go about it. Now I'm going to show you Resolve Color Management. First, I'm going to grab a still of uh, that image right here. And I'm going to delete this node, create another one. I'm going to go to my open effects, go to color space transform, drag that in, select S log 3, S gamma 3 cine, input gamma, so my tone curve is S Sony S log 3. There you go. Output color space, so I need to transform to Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4. Tone mapping, I'm going to leave that on and I'm going to turn on my Gamma mapping. And there you go, so that's, we can call this node to 709. So that's another type of rendering and I can compare the two of them basically. So that's with Sony's lot, that's with Resolve Color Management. Sony's lot, Resolve Color Management. It's actually a little bit flatter with uh, Resolve Color Management. The highlights seem to bleach a little bit with the Sony's lot, which I like. So actually, in that case, I prefer using Sony's lot than Resolve Color Management. So to sum it up, there's two ways you can grade Sony S-Log3, s Gamma 3 Cine. You can use a LUT, preferably from a trusted source, a camera manufacturer's website, for example, like Sony, like we just did, or you can use Resolve Color Management and use a Color Space Transform, for example, like we did. And if you want to, you can also play with another LUT in the folder that we downloaded. It is this one. S Gamma 3 Cine, S Log 3 to Cine plus 709. It seems to be a more filmy rendering, so obviously this is going to be a bit too contrasty. But if we pull back on the contrast and just manipulate our image, yeah. So that can be an option as well. So that is with regular Sony LUT, which is uh, like a clean output. And this has a bit more of a look, basically. So you can play around with this one as well. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment down below. Tell me about future topics that you would like me to cover. Subscribe to the channel. Come and say hi to me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.